Here we have a very nice looking 2007 Mercedes-Benz C350 Sport Edition in dark blue with the panoramic roof. Car's in very nice condition for its age. We start with the offside front tyre. You've got around 3 to 4 mil of tread there on that tyre. Looking at the offside front alloy, we've got some little minor nicks there to the alloy itself. Nothing major. And again, just a couple of light scuffs and marks to the alloy as well. Um, no real signs of any major curving at all, but I would give it a refurb for those reasons alone. Looking down at the offside of the vehicle, um, taking a good look, can't see any signs of any dinks, dents, and especially no signs of any damage at all. The car's looking very well, mirror caps are in nice condition. Uh, moving to the driver's door, again very clean, couple of, just a couple of light scratches here and there. A couple around the driver's door handle, again they should polish out no problem as they are very light. Uh, but looking below the driver's door here, again great condition. I'm looking at the door edge here, absolutely spotless with no signs of any car park chips at all. Sills in nice condition with just a little, little bit of rubber there just coming off, again nothing major at all. And taking a quick look at the roof, you can see it got that panoramic roof there. Uh, really nice condition to that, no signs of any um, cracks or anything there, no dents to the roof. And I'll show you this later on in the video just so you can know it works perfectly fine. Moving towards the offside rear of the vehicle, again spotless with no signs of any marks at all or any dinks. And then looking at the offside rear tyre, you got a good 4 to 5 mil of tread there. And then looking at the offside rear alloy, again we have got some minor scuffs to the alloy itself. Uh, but really nice condition, to be honest, I wouldn't really give this a refurb, as it is pretty clean. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle. Again, taking a look in the back, really nice condition. Um, no signs of any dinks, dents, or any damage at all. A couple of light little scratches on the offside rear quarter, again, just require a polish. Um, no signs of any damage to the plastics at all. Like I said, very clean. A little bit of a scuff there, that I could just do with a polish. Overall though, very impressive. Um, a couple of light little marks to the back here. Again, should polish out or just require a little bit of touch of paint. And then taking a look in the boot of the vehicle. You can see there you've got your 07 plates. And taking a look there, it doesn't appear to be a spare wheel. Um, so do be aware of that. If we just lift this up to take a look. Um, but yeah, no signs of any spare wheel at all. Moving around to the near side of the vehicle. Very nice looking car. Looking at the offside rear tyre. In looking at around 4mm of tread there. And taking a look at the near side rear alloy. Unfortunately we have got a lot of heavy curbing around the majority of the alloy. So I definitely would give this a refurb. As you can see, some heavy curbs and scuffs. And then looking down the near side of the car. Um, there is a very small dink on the uh, front passenger door, so beware of that. Um, but apart from that, there's no other signs of any dinks at all or any damage. Again, a couple of light scratches, uh, a little bit of a paint disfigurement there above the arch on the near side rear. But overall, again, very nice. Um, looking at a door edge on the front passenger door, spotless there. And a couple of scratches around the door itself. A uh, car would really benefit from a good uh, full polish. Uh, if I just try and show this small dink now, uh, very hard to try and get the camera angle um, with the colour of the vehicle, but uh, it is around there on the uh, front passenger door. Very small though, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. Mirror caps in nice condition and moving to the front. Again, you've got around 3mm of tread, but there is quite a lot of wear in there to the outer edge, so be aware of that. Taking a look at the near side front, again, we have got a lot of heavy curbing. So I would recommend a refurb there. And towards the front of the vehicle, again a couple of light scratches to the paintwork as you can see. Uh, so again, just good polish. Looking at the bonnet, a couple of very little minor stone chips here and there just require little bits of paint. We're very clean on the bonnet. And then we've got quite a large scuff to the front bumper there, as you can see. Um, it is very light though, to be honest. So again, that should polish out, to be honest. Uh, you would definitely get most of that out, um, but there is a few stone chips to the front bumper, as you can see. Um, again, those would just require some touches of paint, but uh, overall no signs of any damage. 
but very nice uh, looking on the outside of the vehicle. Take a look inside now, and we'll have the driver's seat. As you can see, you get these uh, full black leather seats. Very nice condition for its age. Slight bit of wear into the holster. You would expect that really from a car of its age. But like I said, very nice condition there. Uh, Taking a look in the back. But as you can see with the back seats, again, absolutely spotless. Uh, no signs of any damage. No rips or tears leather. And hardly any wearing at all either. It's a very nice condition in the back of the car. And then taking a quick look at the front passenger seat. Again, great condition. Look at the rest of the condition of the vehicle, the dashboards, etc. Very clean looking. All the aluminium finish still looks nice. And the same with the steering wheel, it's in nice condition. So overall, a very nice looking vehicle. Step inside the car, I can show you the mileage and things. The car does come with two sets of keys, which is great. And if we just get the car started up. So as you can see, no problem starting the vehicle at all. 41,599 miles, so very low mileage for its age as well. And no symbols appearing on the dash there that you need to be aware of at all. Multifunction steering works perfectly fine, like I said, nice condition. Look at the setup here, you've got radio and CD. No problems at all with the sound, that still sounds great. And then look at the setup here, you've got air conditioning. Light indicating there that it's on and off, so no problems there. And no problems at all with any of the blowers. They're all functioning exactly how they should, as you can hear. So all the setup's working fine and there's no problem there. Automatic transmission. And taking a quick look at the documents now. Looking at the V5, we've got a copy as it is on plate retention. Uh, you've got four owners on the vehicle, so four owners. MOT here, August 30th, 2014, so plenty left there. And look at the service history. We do have full non-franchise service history. Uh, your first one there at 6251, that was at Mercedes-Benz. Um, your second there at 10843. And your last one there at 39.5 at a specialist there. So literally about 3,000 miles go to service, so very recent. But you yeah, have got one stamp at Mercedes, so it is partial franchise. But there we go, that is the 2007 Mercedes-Benz C350 Sport Edition. And for car of its age, it is in very nice condition.